I'm doing good. So we're doing our YouTube exclusive Freeform Rock podcast. What's up, Lee? The ceiling. The ceiling, man. You're so clean cut. I'm doing right. You're so clean cut. It makes me sick. What the well, fuck? I'm, I'm, I'm trying to look good. I know. You always look good, though. I like your quirkiness. And um, yeah. stop trying to be normal. Hey. um, <laughs> Normal sucks, man. Why do people take that seriously? Um, people were taking that post like I meant it. I did, because I know you want chicks. <laughs> well, yeah, but but, but what I'm, I'm I'm saying is, um, there was sarcasm all over what I said, and nobody got it. That 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 proves that I know a bunch of dummies. Hey, so last week I posted our this video into uh, Decibel Geek something the group, and then some huh. lady wrote. I said, that's 41 minutes of my life I could never get back. And I said, would you like a <laughs> refund? It was free. <laughs> so I gave a sarcastic comment back, but uh, yeah. not everybody gets us, man. And that's cool. We don't want everybody to get us. We just It's like what um, one guy, when he was doing a reaction video to, <laughs> to David Lee Roth, he read that someone wrote in the comments, I want a refund and I didn't even go to the show. <laughs> I think somebody should do a reaction video to our videos. Uh, somebody get out um, there and just do it and just uh, tag us on Facebook or something. We want to see what you think of us. If it's good or bad, we don't give a shit. We'll just go fuck you anyways, or thank you. Uh, one of the two, we won't care. <laughs> but but I, I there's something uh, I was talking to Eric RMCP Jordan because he hates the ACDC song, Shook Me All Night Long. And I said, it just seems like it's fashion to hate a certain song by certain bands. Like, it's fashionable to hate Sammy Hagar, but nobody comes up with anything new to hate. It's always the old heads. Like, the old heads hate 80s Rush, but there's some people like us that like 80s Rush and 70s Rush and 2000s rush but it seems like some grumpy old farts just hate old ru new uh newer rush they only oh 2112 is the best time or people say sammy Hagar, blah 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 sammy 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 it's like can we just start hating on new hip-hop and cardi cardi b and kanye west or freaking drake can I we find something else new to hate <laughs> it's getting old <laughs> but 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 my favorite period of rush was the keyboard era of course you're a keyboardist man well that's not the whole reason it's because the songs are better i love the songs of the keyboard rush like it's amazing <laughs> i love it all and i like the songs when they took the keyboard off it's there's no bad rush for me it's like oh, it's all good except you like tai shan. except tai shan i don't like tai shan mm. That's like saying you had a big bowl of rice and beans and you loved all of it except for one tiny little kernel that you couldn't enjoy because it was slightly harder than the rest when you chewed on it. It took you one whole second instead of a half second to chew on it. It's like, uh, let me just put it this way at my point. It's like all these people make videos on how much they hate Sammy. And then I put, I love Sammy on the comments. And it's like, we know um you guys look in the mirror we know you hate sammy <laughs> so what's the big deal about me saying i love sammy we know you hate sammy because the people who hate sammy post it more than i love sammy post i hardly post i love sammy hagar you know well, i quit posting about loving fish because i know that a lot of people don't like it i hate fish and that offended me <laughs> you love fish no, i'm joking yeah, it's like, yeah. But it, it, I mean, it's like, um, you know, um, some, some, some stuff like, like shrimp, like with, with, like, imagine with some lime juice and some salt and pepper and butter and, and maybe a little bit of vinegar and you, you just eat that, that shrimp and it's so delectable and it's much better than that tofu. Oh, okay. yeah. You talk too much about fish. I was almost about to throw up. And then you said tofu. It almost made me gag. You know, I used to make tofu 
at freaking Disney. We would put oil on it and bake it, and we put it on top of a rice bowl for them. It's horrible smelling, gooey, yeah. crap, white. Like, why do people eat that shit? Ah, yeah. Why don't they eat fish instead? Ooh, I'd rather them eat fish than tofu. Tofu's yeah. At least, at least I got you to admit that. Tofu. I, I just don't understand why you don't like fish. I don't know. It's not. I've tried it. I've tried shrimp. I tried lobster. I've tried everything. I've tried crab. I don't like it. It's just. It's like yeah, I don't. It has no. I'd rather eat a burger or some sort of cured meats, like a pastrami sandwich. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. Um. That. 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 That shows that that you just have your own peculiar tastes. So when you don't like certain groups and certain stuff, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're stupid. It just means you've got a different sense to you. Maybe. I used to so eat maybe I have to find someone else who agrees more with me to do further podcast episodes, but then I'm gonna have to have a new podcast and I'm so lazy on my own podcast. Why make a new one? <laughs> but the thing is mm. can we come up with new artists to dislike because it just seems like it's sammy sam well the people i group myself into on facebook it's like sammy 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 hate 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 and i just make a comment i like him and then they get all pissed off because i said i like him. we know mark well i said we know you hate him too can we start just hating bad music because sammy isn't bad compared to what else is coming out like the hip hop shit <laughs> it's like um can we all to get together for the greater good and just bring rock up and just start fucking dissing hip hop i i i agree but um sometimes i find that there's such a very very small difference that it's like um you know to praise that one group because they're one half of a percent better than the total shit that's out there doesn't mean that it's worth praise. Yeah, I'm just like fucking. The but you like everything, and so and I so don't like just, it. I, I'm going. That, off, that's hard for you. <laughs> I'm going <laughs> off on like Cardi B and drake and kanye west or yay. yeah they're they're like it's um, like come on all us rockers out there you know we don't mm. like the same rock bands but most of us hate hip-hop except for Cassius morris he likes hip-hop more power to you brother just my opinion but I, i'm just saying mm. drake and kanye and god dang we you guys hate you guys hate them more than sammy so it's like this make an effort to hate that shit <laughs> i think the reason why they don't do it is because they want to pretend that if they don't talk about it it will go away yeah but we need to talk about it because you know how they say grunge killed hair metal or metal in the 90s that's well, just hip-hop is becoming hair metal right now it's so it's copies of copies of copies of copies of copies grunge didn't didn't I know, it's, it's I know. I know this. It, a, it was just people weren't making good music. They were saying hype. People were saying hype, like um, you know, they 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 just say a bunch of stuff just to make um people talk. You know who killed the, metal? The, you know who killed metal? Hmm. MTV and the record companies decided we don't want to play that anymore. We don't want to promote that anymore. Let's start going to Alice in Chains and all these other. Well, bands that and, stuff is also heavy metal. It's not. It's not. It's not soft rock. It's just that they they just maybe wore their clothes differently. But I mean, it's still the same music. It's just someone decided to call it a different thing. But to me, it's all just rock. Yeah, to me, it's all rock too. But the thing is. It's like Janie Lane said he went into CBS offices and before it had cherry pie albums all over the place, blah, blah, blah. And then he comes in and he sees Alice in Chains all, uh, all over the place and they didn't want to work with them anymore. They, the record companies decided we're going to turn from this music and let's go to this music. 
but it's all yeah, rock like you said it's all rock but but that's how how the how yeah yeah but you're right the the, the idiots who are executives they're like um they decided let's what say hit. let's say there's a guy who has a nose piercing he has a earring in his nose and that's the only thing that makes his music different but his album becomes a million seller and then a couple of other people pierce their nose and get nose piercings and their albums become million sellers next thing you know any group that does not have their nose pierced is going to be considered out and the people who have their nose pierced are going to be considered in that's how i look at it well it's like the record companies controlled MTV. They paid them, man. They paid them money to play the videos. It's like people were so much sheep that they said, oh, look, it's on the MTV. It must be good. And look at MTV now. They don't even show music. It's freaking like freaking hoes and bitches and, and pimps and whatever. It's like, or yeah. freaking game shows. It's like MTV don't even show music. But it's like, it pisses me off because Warrant released their best fucking album, Dog Eat Dog, and didn't get promoted. Rockaholic was their best. But anyway, go on. But Rock, dude, Janie Lane was a great songwriter, man. Rockaholic was okay. Yeah, but, it was better. And, and that had, uh, what's, what singer was on that album? Robert Mason. I love Robert Mason. So I, I It wasn't it, perfect, but it was better. Doggy I like Dog the I like the album. Great. I like the last album better, harder, faster. That album. I'll have to listen to that. But I mean, if you like Doggy Dog better than Rockaholic, I don't know if I can listen to your opinion. Well, you know, we did a review of that with Chris Elio. You like most of that album. I I, I... you're just lying now. Just just to... go listen to it, Lee. It's recorded. <laughs> Did I actually like most of it or just some of it? I I think you like most of it. I think you like oh, seven. Fuck. Maybe seven. God songs. Damn it. I don't know. I could be wrong. Go listen to it and let me know because I'm drunk. You're usually not wrong, and that's what pisses me off. <laughs> well, you're not wrong sometimes. I'm, I'm, I must be wrong now if I said I liked it. Oh man. Uh so, um, well, I'm just saying that people are sheep and need to start listening to stuff that isn't on TV, isn't on videos, isn't pushed by the mass media and start looking for groups that are around the fringes, man. Yeah. Because MTV controlled the music back then. Dude, they promoted Limp Biscuit for God's sake. Come on, man. Come on. I, sorry, Nate. I'm not sorry, Nate. Limp Bizkit sucked, even though I did like most of that last album. They sucked. <laughs> um, mostly. Yeah, but what was MTV playing? You know, I like Linkin Park, and a lot of people don't like Linkin Park. I like them, and I still like them. I liked that one album that I think you didn't like, but I liked it. I like Hybrid Theory, man. Not, I liked like, I, I liked that that last album with with Chester. Oh, the one where they went, not. they went hip hop. Whoa, 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 they had they, a female they, singer they, on there. They 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 they, they sounded so ballady and popish. Yeah, I didn't like it. I liked it weirdly I liked, enough. I liked it when he was going crawling on my skin. You know, I love that shit. I don't know what that's. I haven't. Hybrid theory. You know, dude. I don't. I'm the guy who doesn't listen to stuff like that. So you're talking about all these groups that I. You're the only one that's getting me to catch up on all this shit. I don't know whether to thank you or blame you. Oh shit! The shit I'm telling you to catch up on is still fucking old as fuck right now. <laughs> Not to me. I'm I'm older than it. Dude, hybrid theory is freaking great. The rapping goes with the hard rock vocals. You know, Chester did an EP with Stone Temple Pilots. Really? Yeah, he was in the band for a, a hot minute. 
I think I think I remember then, and I think it was okay. It was pretty good, and I like the new singer of Stone Temple Pilots too. But I, I like I told you an army of anyone uh, review. I think they need to get back together with Robert Patrick and do another album with Ray Luzier because that album was fucking perfect to me. Oh. Stone Temple Pilots, the brothers were in Army of Anyone. I know that. I'm, I'm just playing dummy. Well, you ain't dumb, dude. You know that. I mean, I'm a, I'm, I mean, I, I, I just, you know. You have a rock but, but no. you have an IQ I, I, no, that's, no, I, no, I, that's I, I freaking so above Army. mine. I, I, I remember funny. Army of Anyone. I remember it. You liked it, so. Okay, shut up. Yeah, we need to do a filter album, too. I was thinking of title of the record, but, uh. Um, uh, I just, I just, I love newer music. People like the old, I call them old heads, you know, people like you, um, you know, like. This is going to sound really weird, but there's actually an album um, from a female singer that I heard that I think is is actually really good and people don't. People don't think of her much as being all that great, but but I mean it's it's actually a really good, cool album, and I'd like to do it. Sure, you know I do anything. It's, you it's want. Mama Cass. Oh, I like her voice. I like yeah, 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 yeah. Um, um, if you're thinking the mamas and the papas, um, it's 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 quite a bit different. It's psychedelic. It has some really really cool songs on it. She's she's like, like doing a hell of a lot better, and it's not that bubblegum crap that the mamas and the papas do. Not not that I don't like some of their stuff, but California no, this, Dreaming was a per, per, perfect song, though. No. I mean, this this doesn't sound like that. Oh, okay. This is this is um a lot of good blues and some jazz and some just some psychedelia stuff and, and a little bit of a twenties, like, um, like, like, like 1920s ragtime, but it's the way it's done, man. It's, it's like, it's, it's one of the best albums of its type that I, I heard, you know, I, I do it, man. I like her. Voice. Yeah. It's called, it's, it's called dream a little dream of me. And it's not, there's two versions of that album. One is, one is like just a Pickwick just put out a bunch of songs from different stuff. But no, um, <laughs> this, I, I, I was listening to it and I was like, I, I only, well, um, I, I, I won't, I won't get into too much detail, but someone, um, who I talked with had mentioned Mama Cass. And so I thought, why the hell not? Um, they mentioned that album. And then I heard and I was like, whoa. And then I found out that the album that they had was, was not that album. But, 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 but still I said, you turned me on to something great by accident, but thank you. So, so that, that's all I want to say. Nice, and I want to do Thunder Backstreet Symphony. Um, okay, that'll be my next one. I pick Thunder Backstreet Symphony after we hmm. two years next week, but um, yeah, yeah, because I, I love Thunder, I think they're very underrated and they're kind of a cult band if you think about it. They're not very yeah. out there. One of our friends likes them a lot, and I and like so Stephen Kirsch, so, right? Yeah, and so I love um. Kirsch. Yeah, yeah, and so um, I I listen to them because he he mentions them. I'm gonna reach out to him and see if he could do it with us. That would be cool. That's a really cool, dude, man. Steven rules, uh, man. Mm -hmm. I like doing I like doing I like doing the albums you give me because it forces me to listen to stuff that I would not normally look for, which is freaking awesome. <laughs> um. I wish I could say that I love doing albums that I would not normally look for, but I can't say that. But I do have to say sometimes I like them. Yeah, you do. You like the Bon Jovi first album. <laughs> Shut up! No, 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 no. Actually, I you don't said, like that one. Oh, 
You like 78 Fahrenheit? 7800 Fahrenheit? No. <laughs> I like I, wanna, I like whatever the one we did. Uh, shut up. I want to do 78 yeah. 7800 Fahrenheit with Bushy. All right. Um <sighs> I was starting to listen to Bon Jovi's first album um, and I only was able to get through like half of the first song and then I tried to listen to the second song and I had to stop and then I went, you know what? Screw this shit. I, I, I did hear, um, there's a guy on YouTube I think he's cool if I mention who he is. He goes by the name Canadian Stud Muffin, and he did an album review of Love Beach by Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. And it said, does this album suck? And afterwards, well, without giving much spoiler alerts, let's just say I heard the album um, just to see if I thought similar and i do dang i like i don't think the album we did at Merce lincoln palmer i didn't like it but i do like a lot of songs by them i just don't like a lot of songs by them they're like half and half for me half and half yeah um i like yes works, better works is a good album but works is more like um most of it is like some of of Emerson, some of Lake, and some of Palmer, and then they do like a last side, which is all of them. But but that's the side that I had heard, and and I had not heard anything by them before that. But my my um, next door neighbor who worked for MCA Records, and he was the one who was playing me like stuff like Led Zeppelin's Physical Graffiti and some of Boston's first album. He played me um, the live version of Fanfare for the Common Man by Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. And I was like, damn, they're really good. You know, this is back in the 70s. This was when people actually could go to people's houses and they could turn you on to music. That doesn't happen now. Now you have to go to the internet and whichever troll... Um, picks the latest crap and then everyone agrees with them that's what's out there yeah you hate my next door neighbor then because he's the one who got me in a night ranger uh but, um, <laughs> and but he did get me to pink floyd and uh ace fraley and a lot of other other stuff that you probably like i don't dislike night ranger i just don't run to get them but the thing is you should run to get them no yes you should shut up the the, the thing is that they um i i i forget what album it is that i had got but but it was one with the song midnight love affair and that one i liked i think that's midnight madness right I don't remember. Oh, but oh no! Why you not? mean you mean Interstate Love? Yes, affair? yes. Interstate Love Affair. Yeah, I like that song. That's, that's a, a good one. Seven Wishes. Okay, the then that's the album that I got. Rise yeah, to because... the sun with seven wishes. Don't know. Yeah, I do like that song. I like that album. Would you turn to the stone with seven wishes? Yeah, I love that song. Yeah, I, love I, that I album. should actually listen to that album again. You, you, you're you're making you you're reminding me of shit that I should listen to. Damn it. And it also has four in the morning came without a warning. Everybody's got a place to be. Got it did, it didn't have Sister Christian, shot. though, did it? No, that was uh, Midnight Madness. Thank God. Yeah, so, yeah, it has four in the morning. It has Interstate Love Affair. It's got freaking the other song I was telling you about. I fucking forgot because I'm drunk. Uh, well, but fucking Night Ranger, dude. That band rules. That is one of the best bands ever I've seen live, and I barely saw them just before COVID. Dude, dude, that band live is just amazing. Oh, good. Amazing band, dude. They get the audience going, they get you into the show. Was Jeff Pilson in it? Jeff Pilson's in Dawkins and Foreigner. Okay, then 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 someone was in, in Night Ranger. 
It's Kelly Keegy, Jack Blades, uh, Brad Gillis. Um, and then they have two new members. It used to be Fitzgerald, the keyboard, Fitzgerald, and uh, yeah, and the other guitar player that uh, Jerry Soup gets all pissed off about that he's not in a band anymore. Uh, yeah. I forgot his name. <laughs> I think it was Fitzgerald that I was thinking of. Yeah, Who knows? Fitzgerald was Alan, was not not Alan Fitzgerald. Yeah, Alan it? Fitzgerald Fitz. All right, Alan Fitz Fitzgerald. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so that was the guy that I was. Yeah, I, whatever. Yeah, and it also has the ballad "Goodbye" on there on 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 Seven Wishes. I don't remember that. Is that the last song? Yeah, Kelly Kiki sings it. It's like a ballad. It's a. Goodbye. Yeah, I, I, I don't like any of the songs that he does. I, like I don't Kelly like Kiki. any songs that he writes. You don't like uh, when you close your eyes when him and Jack sing co-leads? No. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> yeah. I like, I like. That's a song like, that got like, me in. An, that's a song that made me want to buy Night Ranger. I bought that single, but I did have uh, Dawn Patrol before that. I do like. All right. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. Go on. No, I'm done. I said you I like had Don, Don Patrol. Patrol bit, 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 bit. Um, um, I, I do like Timothy B. Schmidt doing um, Tell Me When You Dream at Night. I like, I like that. You're sleeping. Yeah, that's good. I like Timothy B. Schmidt. I can't tell <coughs> you why. Do you I know that song? Um, uh, wow, you know that stuff. I know Timothy B., man. I love Timothy B. Do you know the album Playing It Cool? Yeah, it's good, man. Yeah, man. You know that he wrote it with people like like JD Souther and yep. um Don Felder and stuff. So it's it's all totally, you know, he didn't it, sell out the thing like in the video. It's like Joe Walsh, but seriously, folks, he wrote some songs with uh Henley and Frey. But oh, oh the, the 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 Timothy B. Schmidt album is a lot better, but and but but we can argue that later. Yeah. Um we might I I'm I'm thinking we might sometime do for a review either on your show or my show a track by track review where we both talk about which song is better on an album um this song from this album or that song which one do we prefer so then that way we can do a track by track but you know what it's me you mean your show and our show not my show well it's our show bitch stop saying it's my show just because I do all the editing. It's your shit. baby, not ours. Yeah, but you came in and took over. Well, you get, okay. You get, well, you get well, your, is, you get your the say The difference what we between pick. Freeform or Lee Gerstmann, that's what I'm going to say. Okay, Lee Gerstmann is just wah, and we're just wah. <laughs> um, you're more whatever, out there. But, you're more out there <clears> than <throat> I than we are. Um, I, I just, I, I. I I you, do you do this. Yes. <laughs> we don't do yeah. that here. <laughs> yeah, I I I I I'm I'm like it's like the difference between members of my biological family. Instead of calling them the difference between sane or insane, I said the difference was they're either indoors or they're walking around loose. <laughs> you know? but all yet right. all right man we need to go we need to get the fuck out of here say uh, goodbye lee bye bye <laughs>